<laughs> you got this. <laughs> Hold tap. Come on, y'all. Hold tap. Peace and blessings. My name is Karen from Angelic Creations. I have been a part of Man Up for many, many years. <laughs> so I'm happy to be here today. So I'm just gonna let my words speak for speak for you. Where the where the mothers at? Where the families at? Okay, I see y'all. They said I don't have enough time, but I definitely have enough energy. Yeah. America, don't make it a murderous place to live. Where we have been systematically programmed from the start and passed it along to our kids. Now we have a long history of abusing people, the environment, and the political system. So my brothers and sisters, I ask you why? Why are we continuing here, the gunshots fly? While we sit and film, while our youth continues to die. I said, America, don't make it a murderous place to live. Who will pretend to give a, as long as you have enough bucks, cash, and grass. So our teaching class, you know I had to ask. What is your future goals in life? One student said, a wrestler. Another said, a doctor. My nephew said, a basketball player. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was on a roll. Until another student stood up and said, I want to be alive. Mm. He said he just wants to be alive. And you see, I cannot let this slide, because in my neighborhood, by the age of five, most kids are traumatized and desensitized, walking over yellow tape on their first day of school, but we expect them to pay full attention, sit up straight, and not act out as fools. Mm. Well, they deserve a chance to live, too. So after school, this student and I advised the plan to scholar to scholar with scholarships to college. No definite guarantees, but he has a much better chance of not getting his wig pushed back by a badge or some dude posted up on the ad who meant to hit but miss and clip the pretty young girl coming home from Sunday school. Can you see her? She used to have on an all white dress. Now it is all red. I said, can you see her? So please, think twice before you load that next clip. I said, America, don't make it a murderous place to live. We will gladly give you a uniform, prescription drugs, a weapon, and a residency to help represent where you live. Mm. Fighting for a cause you don't quite understand, but you see those skilled social media representatives that help you understand? How seeing the faces of dead women, men, and children on the battlefield is a necessity, but not as important as the murders committed right here in New York City. Say that, say that. You know, Samford, it amazes me how we now have East New York and Chicago PD for the whole world to admire on Hulu and regular TV. Mm. But you see, they are never shown the real war zones in every block where there's a hot spot that you cannot cross without fearing for your life. Yet, when one of us are hit by a uniform clip, we sing a different song that's soon to be played out because that was my dude and I'ma go all out for street clout. While another family mourns and a whole community is torn, a parent will never get over the loss of a child, nor will they never understand their child being taken and stolen from them. A parent should never have to bury their child you see, that should have never became a regular slogan. Mm -hmm. So please, put your phone down for a second. Have a face-to-face -face conversation. You just might be able to save a life. Because it still takes a village to raise a child up right. After all, America is our home. We built this. Talk, Thank you so much. Woo! Yeah.